Hello. This video is about uh, the cross validation in R. Sorry. So this is the data set I have here. My data, the name of the data set is discharge. So let me load it. And, uh, I generally install the basic libraries, the packages. Uh, I run, I install the packages, then of course we need to call the libraries. So I have uh, ISLR and MAS. I already installed the packages, so now I need to call the libraries. Need also the ISLR. Yeah. This for the basic manipulations to not have uh, issues. So I have names for my data. My data is my object here. These are the name of the variables I have in the data set. T for time. SM for soil moisture, ST for soil temperature, AT for uh, air temperature, ET for evapotranspiration, SH for specific humidity, P for precipitation in the discharge, the river discharge I have. So this is my target uh, variable. I would like to predict and after the predictions make the cross validation. So head. This is the six, the first six rows of the columns. I have uh, 84 observation. These are the rows and the uh, eight uh, columns. These are the the variables. So the rows represent the observations and the the columns you see here. These are all the variables. So dimensions, rows. The predictor so the variables one the variables and the, the one of the variables is uh, the the first one two three four five six seven are the predictors and the the last one is the target or the response variable so to see the whole data set fix this is what you have for our discharge here in the T I took it as 1 to 84 I set the seed to make it reproducible you don't need the correlation coefficient but in case you need the uh, core my data so this is the middle I have Y mode, or you can give it a name. My mode, everything you need. Y for the output. You call LM, linear model, discharge is the response here. We have delta sine of two times pi times t divided by twelve divided by twelve y because we have monthly data in my data. We have 84 observation is uh, it's monthly data. Let me run it here. So 84. And, uh, these are monthly data and monthly when we divide uh, t by 12, we find 7. 7 times 12 equal 84. So two times uh, seven equal four. One seven times one plus one eighty four. So seven years, and we divide the t divide by twelve. Why? Because in this data, specifically, I have a cyclical pattern, and we use the sine and the cosine to see the impact of time. The cycle of the time, so like we have rainy season and uh, 
dry season, rainy season, dry season, rainy season, dry season. So the pattern is there when we see the time. So these variables depends on the cycle. So there are, for instance, when you have rainy season, you would have precipitation peak, and dry season, the precipitation will be will be low. It should be the opposite. Air temperature has higher. The peak is in dry season, and the lowest in the cold season that's really close to the rainy season so that's why use here in the quality trigonometric regression the impact of time the cycle of time on the output so this gives us the impact of time on the discharge in addition to these uh, predictors so we run the model this is the syntax model. This is the syntax of the model. So you run it. And then you write the summary to have the summary of the model. So we see here the model formula. Uh, the residuals are here. You have the coefficients. This, uh, these are the, the statistics. So you have uh, the estimate. You have uh, estimates or coefficients here. The standard error. You have the t value. You have the, the p value. You have the sine, cosine, and the p, s, m, s, c, h, e, a, t, e, t, and s, h. And you have the p values are here. Which ones are statistically sig significant? Look, this is not the purpose. You know, for instance, HS is not, SS is like a, this confidence, confidence interval here is a 5%, so we know that these are already eliminated, so they are greater than 0 0.05. This one also is eliminated, greater than 0 0.05. 0 0.05. This one is included, this one is eliminated, greater than 0 0.05, so. And you see that the model is plain, the variation of discharge at 91%. So, with a p-value less than 2.2 times 10 to the power minus 16. This is good model, except that you have to eliminate some predictors. But it's not enough, uh, we need to know how well this model works. And to do that, we need to have the k for cost validation the purpose here if you need uh, the fit it you, you just wrote here predicted predicted the charge equal fitted y mode and you run predict red and this is the predicted. If you want the residual, resid, resid, I put it here, resid as the name equal residuals of my Y mode. You run it, and we call resid, and these are the residuals. But it's not important here. So, to have, uh, to run the cost validation, you need a package called boot. So, you have uh, install that packages, boot. This is important for our work here. It's already installed, so you need to call the library. Call. Modify here, but let me start with 10. Uh, let's go. Let's go with 5. 5 full cost validation. So you are going to try with 5 and then 10. So Y mod CV. Y mod is our model. Y mode y dot mode that I put it to y mode here y dot mode sorry y dot mode cv cv for class validation class validation on our model y dot mode and then write zero to five for five full cross validation so you look here for i in one to five so k one to five k y dot mode equal glm now the syntax is almost the same instead of having lm we are 
you have here GLN and a discharge delta poly polynomials degree of polynomials we need to have so sine of 2 times pi times t divided by 12 plus cosine of 2 times pi times t over 12 plus the predictors we have we need and the i this is the incrementation and then data equal my data and then y dot mode c v slicing i equal c v dot g l m my data and then comma y mode comma k equal 5 and dollar sign delta bracket 1 so you run the first then second line and then you output the MSCs here y dot mode cv it's going to give you the output so you have one two three four and five because you have k equal five and then if you like to plot plot your y dot mode cv main you will give the name you want and the, the degree of polynomial as x lab y lab msc's so uh, this is the plot x lab degree of polynomial msc's y lab and the the main 10 so it should be 5 Five fold cross validation here. Okay. So this is what we have. If you would like it, you have uh, you would like to have your figure as a box plot. You just change the plot by box plot, and everything is the same. The second thing, the other thing you need to modify is uh, here. The horizontal has to be true. If you don't put it, it's going to take it horizontal as true. So, box plot, parenthesis, y dot mode cv, x lab, msis, horizontal equal true. And let's run it. And this is the box plot we have. And this is the mini score error the msc for this model this line should be greater than this if you don't do that uh, we let 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 me take off the the horizontal equal true is going to put us to give us a vertical so you have something vertical like this okay let, let's uh, run again the cross validation and the uh, now let's go to box plot only okay this gives us better site so let's put back uh, our vertical equal true so this is what we have put us so horizontal equal true. Horizontal to equal true puts us horizontally. So if you don't put anything by default, it's going to be vertical. This for the k equal 5. If you want k equal 10, you just change here. 10. And then we loop iteration from 1 to 10. And then here or k equal 10 notice here is capital k here. Oh, sorry my battery is low let me plug it sorry about that okay so you just change k from 5 to 10 and you run 
for i equal for i in 1 to 10 you have your cost validation model and the, you output your MSCs so now you have 10 MSCs and we change the title sorry sorry again so let me Okay. You're okay now. Sorry about that. So, change by 10. This is the title. And we run. And this what you have. You have up to 10 polynomials. So, the model performs good. Linear model is good here for the discharge except that we need to take uh, some predictors that have uh, p values higher than 0 0.05 and if you need uh, you don't need this plot we need to, you don't like this plot you would like to have uh, the box plot we just just take this code and you run it uh, for, for 10 is not really good so 5 for 10 the box plot is not good let's, let's try again ok output and we can here box plot not really good for 10 because the errors are generally around this area it's not a spread to this Let's see uh, vertical by default. There's nothing above this, so the plot is around here. It doesn't help too much. Let's see vertical. Here also something. So basically, the box plots for this data set doesn't give a good result. So with k equal 5 is better. And k equal 10. So let's go to 5. k equal 5. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it helps you when you run your model. You need your K. K might be 5, K might be 10. Cross validation, cross validation is important to know how well your model performs. It's one of the resampling methods you need to perform. So, thank you for watching the video. I hope it helps you to analyze your data.